Thank you for the blessing, Lord. It controls much of the world's food. It supplies inputs for McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and even governments around the world. And even giants like Nestle and Unilever use its products as raw material for their own products. And all this, in a way that is still little known, even after more than a hundred years of history. That's Deep in the heart of Wayzata, Minnesota, lies one of the biggest family dynasties in America, except you've never heard of their name. This family dynasty made more money last year than Coca-Cola, Nestle, and Chevron combined. In fact, they're the largest private company in the US. And this single company controls a massive share of your food supply. They're responsible for supplying food for some of the biggest brands out there, like McDonald's, Burger King, Kellogg's, Mars, Dunkin' Donuts, Unilever, Safeway, Kroger, Albertsons, Audi, Tesco, and many, many more. Look in your kitchen right now, and you're gonna find a ton of food made by this secret mega corporation. From coca powder to cooking oil, salt, sugar, eggs, meat, but you won't find their name on any of these labels. Most of you have never even heard of this name before. That's because this American dynasty has worked very hard to keep it that way. They don't want you to know what they're doing behind their factory doors. Because if you ever found out, you would never buy their food products again. It's that bad. What is the name of this family, you ask? Cargo. Cargill may have started out as a single shack on the side of the road, but today they're a whole lot bigger. Cargill is the largest private company in the US, and if they were public, they would be ranked number 15 on the Fortune 500 list, just in front of AT&T. And Cargill has its fingers in almost every pie imaginable, from grains to livestock to palm oil and coca, to meadows, animal feed, energy, and even hedge funds. Their total revenue in 2021 was $135 billion, which is almost double the amount of what other big agricultural companies like ADM, Bungie, and Dreyfus made that year. In fact, this makes Cargill bigger than the entire GDP of Morocco. But if you wanted to buy some Cargill shares, you would be fresh out of luck because Cargill doesn't want your peasant money. It is not worth it to them. Cargill has purposely remained a private company. For a lot of companies, going public on the stock market is the dream. But Cargo knows that if they went public, they would have to report everything to the shareholders, which would expose them to a lot of public scrutiny. But for what? It's not like they need the money. They already secretly control the food industry. There's a reason why their name doesn't ring a bell. Why? Well, you can't boycott something you don't know about, right? And there's a lot to boycott about. own an agriculture business, you're at the constant whims of nature. Droughts, floods, global shortages of seeds, all of that can be a very serious threat to your main money makers. What if your primary food export suddenly dried up one day? And that was the exact position Cargill found themselves in in 1997 during the Asian financial crisis. See, at the time, Cargo was sourcing a lot of his crops from the Philippines, Taiwan, Indonesia, and Korea. But when Asia fell into a financial crisis, it caused a lot of the agriculture producers Cargo was buying from to close down. Suddenly, Cargo couldn't get soy, wheat, and corn from these countries at the same price as they were before. So Cargo ended up losing $4 billion, which at the time was the equivalent of eight years of profit for them. It was one of Cargo's biggest losses to date, and it plunged them into debts. Understandably, the Cargo family panicked. So they shook up management and put a new guy in charge to hopefully lead them back to the promised land. And the man they chose to do that was Warren Stolle, one of Cargo's most loyal employees that had been working there since 1969. And when Warren Stolle stepped up as the head of Cargo, he did in fact lead them back to the promised land, but at a huge cost. 